just pierce it and then back again with another sneaker video. This time it's going to be on your Jordan 10 OVO in the black colorway. Here's a closer look of your Jordan 10 black OVO. First, going to your box, you have that Jumpman Jordan in the middle part of the box in gold. And then on the other side, you have the size tag. It states Air Jordan 10 Retro OVO. And on the other side, on the topmost part, you have the OVO Owl. A little trivia, as you can see on the OVO Owl, you have the O, then the V for the owl's nose, and the O for the other side of the eye. Jump into your pair. On the top part of the pair, you have the black shiny leather, tumbled leather, plus with a stingray material touch. Really nice, really nice. On the tongue, you'll have a tumbled leather again with the Air Jordan 23 embroidery. At the back, you will have a black Jumpman Jordan. At the insoles, you'll have again that gold OVO owl. And at your bottoms, which is one of the special parts of these OVO, the signature of these black hair, you'll have a translucent outsole, which is kind of black with a mixture of gold. You have the achievements of Michael Jordan, as we all know, in a Jordan 10 silhouette. At the heel part, you'll have a black Jumpman. And on the top part, you can see that OVO logo in gold. So that's how your Jordan 10 OVO in black looks like. My thoughts about these, first about the size, you should go through the size of the Jordan 10. Or if you, if you have a white foot, go half size up. I really think that these are very clean pair, but I'm really not a fan of the Jordan 10 silhouette. Drake has been wearing like the OVO 10s, the OVO 8s, and the OVO 12s. Among those, my favorite is the OVO 8s, which is the white one. Comparing this to the white one, I really think that this is very mi minimalistic. I mean, you can't really notice that it's an OVO collaboration unless you go at the bottom of the sole. It's a dope pair, it's a clean pair. It's not a GR here in the Philippines, it's a limited release, only Thailand has it, but the numbers are unexpected. There's like, I think they released like 200 pairs for the special members in. Other than that, I really think these are clean. I feel like the OG4s were more worth it. This retails for 12,000 pesos, so that's around 250 with tax. But for the OG white cement, it's more worth it because it, the price is lower here compared to the US. But that's it. Please don't forget. Please don't forget to like this video. Hit the thumbs up below. Share this to your friends in Facebook, Twitter, or even in YouTube, as that helps the channel a lot. If you're new here, please do subscribe because I make tons of on-feed videos. Please don't forget to drop your comments below on what you think about these pair. Did you scoop one? Do you like the white better than these black? Me personally, I think even though I don't own the white based on pictures, I like the white better because there's more gold to it. The gold pops there compared to these plain black OVO tents. So that's it. Here's your own feet. Peace.